This is a portable sink sold by Serene Life and the model number is SLCA SN25. This is the biggest portable sink that I could find that was fairly inexpensive. They have some smaller ones which is just like a basically a hand basin. This one has a bigger basin to it. And the purpose of this is to put in the back of the shop where it's far away from the bathrooms and we don't have any way to run water or a drain back out back there. And we need to wash our hands pretty often when we're working on stuff, be it the CNC machining or just working in the shop back there, getting our hands dirty and we're always running up front to use the sink at the front. So the idea with this is that you fill the basin with water, it has a foot pump, and you use the foot pump to pump water up into the faucet and you can just wash your hands there quickly or wash off some parts, rinse off something with water, and then it's going to dump into, I believe, a bucket. Maybe the base of this, but I think I would prefer just to have it dump into a bucket. And then once the bucket is full, as long as the water is not contaminated, take it up front and just dump it into the drain or the toilet um, and then refill the base of this with fresh water. So let's open it up here and see what's inside. First part is a sturdy looking base. Um, looks pretty heavy duty. So there's two holes here and they're both connected together. So um, on the pictures on the website, it looked like the drain from the sink was returning it to here, which means you could recirculate the water. But I mean that would mean that the water is dirty when it you know when you recirculate it. Um, so not all, not all ideal. We'll probably just end up putting it into a bucket. So you have the foot pump is here. It looks like this can be used from either side. So the foot pump is in the center, so you can use it here. Or you can flip around and use it here. It's got a handle on the bottom for easy transport. And the wheels are pretty big, so you can even use this outdoors, like if you were camping or an outdoor event. Those are pretty big wheels. Steps into the bottom. The two posts. The basin part, what I like about this basin too is it's got this kind of drying rack area where we can leave parts, especially with machining, you can rinse off a part and just leave it here and it's going gonna, it's gonna to dry off and the water is going to run down into the drain. And this nice, this drain is centered, everything is sloping towards it, it's not flat bottom so it's going to be easy to clean and easy to rinse off. Our faucet top, drain pipe, one year warranty. Five liters of liquid soap. So this is, I didn't know that, but this whole basin here is fills up with soap. This is a double wall rotomolded basin. And so the whole bottom of the basin fills up with soap. And there's actually a drain plug here where you could drain the soap out of the bottom if you needed to drain it. Hopefully that won't leak. Um, but the whole thing fills up with soap. Five liters of soap you can put in there. So this is like really useful for events or stuff where you have a lot of people using it. We have the soap dispenser here and some other fittings. Looks like the cap I and mean, cap can go on either one of these. You got one drain cap, a valve, a valve cap for this. It looks like, like I said, you can either recirculate the drain by using this. You can put this in here and you can recirculate from the drain into the bottom or we could just go into a bucket like I want to do and then you put this cap on here and this cap has an air valve so it allows air to enter but it's not going to allow water to leak back out. There's a plug for the drain. It's got a little chain. Oh, so one thing they say, this is what I was concerned about, was this hole right here with the, with the drain plug for the soap, which just has this cap on it. They give you a hose clamp, and you're supposed to use the hose clamp on here to close this off properly. The first step of the assembly is to take these columns, 
and screw them in to the base here until they rotate to where they snap. Then we're going to take the basin with the soap dispenser side over near where the wheels are. You're supposed to just push down to get it to snap in. <clears throat> I was pretty much putting all my weight on there. Looks like they have lubricated it a little bit. This is, see, my feet are off the ground. Ugh. I was reading that this is like the most difficult part to snap these in. I wonder if I need to take like a rubber mallet. I'm not having any luck snapping this in. It's all my weight. Ugh. Oh, there it goes. Okay, one, one side in. I feel like a disaster. This is a recipe for ending up on my face. Ugh. It's close. Oh, there. Finally. It took me sitting on it to get it in there. Well, at least we know it can take my weight. I felt the final pop and it looks like it's seated in now. That was a pain. Um, it looks like it's intended to, the basin's intended to be on this side, even though I, went, I was wondering why this, why this handle is over here. But the basin's intended to be on this side because you can come at it from, from this angle, you can come at it from like, you know, any angle over here to pump water into it. This water pipe on the faucet, it looks pretty basic, like you just push the tube up there, put the water pipe in here, stick the faucet into the water pipe, pull this down into the hole. You can place this faucet at any corner here. There's, there's holes in all four corners for the faucet. So I guess this probably just goes over the faucet like this. So then you have your, your plug here, your drain plug. And you just throw it off the side when you don't need it. This drain pipe, there's two different ends to this drain pipe. There's one end that has a flange and one end that's straight. So the straight end would be what goes in the bottom here. The flanged end goes up here. I don't see a gasket anywhere for this. Maybe it doesn't need it because it's low, it's a drain and it's low pressure. I'm just going to screw this in under here. So the soap dispenser, you have the option of having the soap dispenser or just a cap. Looks like they include a cap that fits over that if you don't need the soap dispenser. But we're going to use the soap dispenser. I feel like it could use like three supports, but I mean, I don't think you would be applying a lot of force to this thing. I wish they would mark how many gallons that container is at the bottom. I believe it's eight gallons. The nice thing is, with the two holes, you can see how much water is in there by opening up the other hole and just using it as a viewport to avoid overfilling it. Oh man, until they overflowed. Even with eight gallons of water, it's still plenty manageable. So if I can just drop the bucket on, um, make a clip for the bucket or something like that, then the bucket can just sit there. So let's test it out to see how it pumps. You're gonna have to prime the pump first. So initially, it's probably gonna, send, gonna be, have air and spurt and splatter. I'll take a few pumps to get it primed up. So it's actually quite a lot of flow of water. Like, to wash your hands, you can totally wash your hands like this. So just gotta fill up the soap reservoir now. It's gonna be a good wash station for washing hands. I'm surprised at how much water is coming out of here. It's gonna take a while to fill up that bucket. You can do a lot of hand washing. This is concentrated soap, so you can dilute it a lot. I feel like if it had a nozzle that spread the stream out a little bit, it would be a lot more efficient for washing your hands, kind of like a high efficiency nozzle on a sink. So maybe if I can figure out some way of fitting something where the, that kind of spread the stream out in more of a shower rather than a direct stream, that would be a nice uh, feature to add to that. One final thing is how easily transportable is it when it's filled with water? 
and let's see, you can easily lift this end, then you unfold this handle from the bottom, and you can just roll it around like this. Now, once you get to a certain point, you might want to try to like tip over, but it's actually pretty easy to roll. So this is going to be the final resting place for the sink and it's right in the center of the shop area. So we have the lathe over here, the bandsaw, we got the buffing machine here, and then the CNC mill is right over here, the CNC lathe are over here, and our whole workstation workbench is over here. So it's right in the center of everything and it's gonna allow us to wash our hands and wash parts and stuff in this little uh, portable sink that we can refill since we're far away. We're about like a, over a hundred feet away from the faucets and stuff, which are way down there at the other end of the building. So that's where the water and the drains are. So this is gonna be a great addition to the shop to make it easier to uh, keep things Keep your hands clean and clean up parts and stuff. Do a close up of it. Got the foot pump here. And the fill ports, all the handles I was talking about. You got the folding handle on the other side. This is our drain bucket in the back. I'm gonna bungee this to the, to the posts. I'm going to bungee this to the posts. Right now it's resting, it can't go anywhere. 